recording this one. Hey everyone, it's Isaiah. Welcome, welcome. This is an episode of Isaiah's Inspiring Evenings podcast. And tonight we are um, in a particular series of the podcast. The series is called The Decaverse Diaries. And it's a series where I discuss with deck creators, oracle decks, tarot decks, or any kind of decks, basically. And tonight um, I have the very immense pleasure to welcome Katie Kay. And Katie Kay is, um, it's so important for me that she is on this podcast because she's actually the inspiration for so many things around decks that I've been doing in my life. A few years back when we met in, um, in a, one of our mentors courses, um, she was in the process of creating her first Oracle deck. And I kind of witnessed her going through the process of creating it. Then um, I voted for her uh, in the People's Choice Awards to uh, get the award that she did get. I'm going to read her bio in just a minute, but I wanted to go there first. And um, basically, her journey with the Oracle decks gave me permission to imagine that I could create my own decks, that I could be a deck aficionado or specialist or lover, and ultimately that I could create the Autoloco Congress, uh, which happened last December, uh, December 2023, if you're listening to this podcast in any other year, and uh, that is going to happen again this year. <laughs> so I'm really excited to have Katie Kay. Welcome, welcome. Um, and for those of you who don't know you, I'm, I'm going to be doing my due diligence and actually read your bio because then I'm sure that um, I'm not saying random things but of course I close the document with so just give me a sec I'll open it again so Katie Kay is an international psychic and author she is renowned a renowned psychic medium and she is the creator of two beloved oracle decks the first one called the modern oracle and the modern oracle of essential oils she is also the author of Amazon number one best-selling books, The Modern Oracle, How to Tap into Your Unique Psychic Powers, and her most recent publication, The Modern Oracle, Becoming More Psychic, Intimate Secrets to Enhance Your Intuitive Gifts. As the visionary founder of KTK Spiritual Advancement Academy, KT takes great pleasure in guiding and mentoring others, helping them expand and refine their intuitive talents. Many of her students have gone on to develop professional careers in the intuitive realm. Katie's remarkable contributions to the field have not gone unnoticed. In 2015, she received the prestigious International Psychic Directory Peaceful Choice Award, and in 2023, the Psychic Ambassador Award, a testament to her impact on the world of intuitive and psychic developments. Isn't that so exciting? And today we are talking about the, the official title of this episode is Uncovering the Secrets of the Modern Oracle Decks. And so we are going to discuss how we can expand our psychic readings with the Modern Oracle Decks, how we can become a professional psychic reader using those decks for accurate, easier readings, and how to become a more confident psychic using those decks, which are, have been created with the intention in mind and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, Katie, to be also helpful for people learning how to um, give readings. So welcome again, now that we've done the proper introduction. <laughs> introduction. <laughs> um, uh, I, oh, I just want to remind everyone, just in case, that we are uh, on completely different sides of the world, Katie Kay and myself. I am in Europe, uh, in Greece at the moment, and Katie Kay is in Australia. So it's kind of, she's already tomorrow, I think. Or are you tonight? I think you're tonight, later tonight. <laughs> I am Friday evening. Yeah, so I'm Friday morning. So we're still on the same day. You're in the future, but not that future. <laughs> so thank you very much for accepting my invitation. I'm really excited. Uh, so for the people watching the video, we're going to be showing some of the cards and some of, and if you're only listening to the audio, well, find a way to get the, the video if you're interested, because there's going to be some showing. <laughs> So we, you have two decks, right? Uh, the first deck is called the Modern Oracle. Um, and the first thing that uh, immediately 
I, yeah, I don't have the box with me. I have the decks, but not the box because the box were heavy in my suitcase and I'm traveling. Um, so the first thing that jumps immediately to mind is they are small. Uh, right. Traditionally, Oracle decks are bigger than that. Is there a reason why they're small? Yes, because most of the people I was teaching have small hands. We're not like got the hands of bricklayers. We and I wanted there to be 53 cards. Spirit said there needed to be 53 cards. And by the way, thank you for having me and thank you for the invitation. That is how I meant to <laughs> but then I answered your question. And uh the more cards you have, the harder it is to handle. And so I felt that this size was just perfect because it will fit in most hands. And Indeed it does. Yeah, <laughs> and you can handle them easier when there is so many cards, 53, because the typical Oracle deck has 44, which mm -hmm. adds up to 8, the number 8. 53 adds up to the number 8. Spirit said to me they wanted 53 cards and uh, they just kept coming until there was 53. Mm -hmm. And then I had a couple extra, but then I realised they were like double ups. And mm -hmm. so I just changed the wording on a couple and, and here we had 53 cards. So that's why they're small. Then they're beautiful. <laughs> just, you know, just saying, <laughs> just saying. So if you're not watching the video, go and check them. They have a golden edge, which I think is very posh. And each of them, so this is the modern oracle. We'll discuss the other deck in, in a minute. So the 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 um, the modern oracle has got uh, this background, this blue galaxy type background with your logo, obviously. And on the other side, on the main side, let's put it this way, the background is repeated in the uh, as in the border. And then we have a picture. So it's not a painting; it's it's an actual picture, and that is the illustration for the card. Um, yes. So it's very realistic, and it some of them are really. Um, I would say normal people, and I love that. Like it's it's re it's not angelic realms beings, you know. I love those too, but um, I love that it, the the. What, I think that's why you call them the modern oracle, isn't it? It's because yeah. they are addressing our issues as people living today, and yes, not they as are. souls or spirits. They are addressing yeah. our everyday life issues and. Uh, questionings and you know um, and so the fact that there are photos uh, is very um, for me it's, it's, it's very important related to that idea now how did you choose the photos okay well first off I had the idea that I was going to paint them oh. but I can't I can't paint for anything so I went <laughs> and took an art class and after six weeks realized I didn't have a spare 50 years to to learn how to fine tune <laughs> know, and, and these images so I hired a um, graphic artist and uh, I uh, someone put me in touch with someone and uh, she lived in Melbourne which was like takes most of a day to travel from where I am by plane to get to them because you've got multiple flights and uh, she said she would quote me. And so we booked our flights to meet her so I could discuss what I want and go through the images and everything because the first cards were just little white um, business cards, blank ones mm -hmm. that I got off eBay. With and the messages from source. Yes, and the messages came one at a time. When I was doing my readings for people, I was using several decks. I couldn't get mm -hmm. one entire deck. And at the end, I would think, there's a card that's just not there that I need and so I would write it out myself and then I would sit and meditate and they'd give me more cards and then I um, getting back to the Melbourne lady she sent me a quote after we booked our airfares and accommodation for fifty thousand dollars to do 53 images and that is making them as a graphic artist and my husband said she obviously doesn't want the job because we're not going to take a loan against our home. We, we can have to borrow that money to do that. That's an awful lot of decks that you have to sell to mm -hmm. recoup that. Um, and it was out of our, our reach. And so uh, we still did the trip and I declined her offer. And then a friend of mine 
said that she'd had a graphic artist do the cover of her book and I should get in touch with her and I did and the woman was just amazing. She's not woo-woo at all but she just got me and she oh, that's cool. understood what I wanted and if she couldn't find an image that, you know, I needed, she would invite me to go and explore other options. And, uh, for example, um, for the card You Will Be Safe, the image I got was a swan with all the babies, that's it, <laughs> on her back and that the babies are safe because they're hidden under her wings and she's gliding across and doing all the, the water and doing all the work. And she could only find a landscape vision of that. She couldn't find oh, yeah. mm -hmm. a, a portrait one. Yes, and it was going to take way too many hours to build that image up to fill the top part up here. Yeah. And uh, so I then went and meditated about it and I saw a dog and I thought, well, a dog would be a good thing and, and a in a, um, a dog house mm -hmm. and it's chained there so it can't run away and it's fine. And the very next morning I woke up and I'm reading the, lo the um, state newspaper on my iPad and here was an image of a python in a doghouse with oh, the wow. chain coming out of its mouth. <laughs> and I went, no, this this was the sign. <laughs> this is, not, this safe. is <laughs> not image. This is not safe. And so then I was on a walk and I was looking at the trees and in my head I saw koalas, that image there. And I thought, that's what I need. So I, you know, prior to that I'd seen a boat in a safe harbour, but people didn't get that that's what it meant. Mm -hmm. And so then we found that image, and that's the image we went with. So yeah, it's it's a it's a process to find the image that process. is right. Um, and the, and yeah. the fact of working with someone that gets you is so important. Um, Definitely, but also after the images were were chosen, I would meditate on each one, and spirit would show me so many more things about the image. And if we're looking at that particular image that you have there, which I'm finding on my end, um, <laughs> because I've made this deck so that it is about life now. People come to me and they don't say, you know, I'm having trouble with my past lives right now or I'm having trouble with um, who my fairies are or mm -hmm. things like that. And I'm not discounting any of that, but they're coming to me and they're saying, I'm having relationship problems. So I made sure there was relationship cards in the deck. Mm -hmm. I'm having problems with my career. So I made sure that there was career cards in there or my business or, mm -hmm. or my study or travel. Um, you know, is it safe for me to go somewhere? My health, mm -hmm. uh, spirituality, all the things that people want to know. And it took five years to put this deck together. And Amazing. three of them you know, were putting it together and using them and then two of them were testing them on my clients. So I would mm -hmm. do the reading and then throw the cards at the end and they'd say, can I have a copy of these cards? And I'd go, oh, no, they're just my scribble. Mm -hmm. And, oh, are you going to do something with this? I'd really like it. And then all my students were saying the same thing. These are the best cards. I really want these cards. <laughs> you know, do you mind if I borrow them and copy them? And I'm going, no, this is, this is my work. I will put something together. So the mm -hmm. pressure was on. And so when you pick any of the cards up, I encourage my students to think that one card is a word and many cards make a sentence. And then all the that. different cards that can come up will tell a different story. So the sentence so for, for people, Sorry, for people who are not watching the video, we're going to specify that each card has usually three sentences or three um, ideas that are very close to each other. Uh, on top, except for a few one, I found, I think there's uh, the male and female card that I just have one word because there's not much more. Um, right. and, okay. But there's there's generally three um, ways you can uh, interpret the card um, that are yes. written there. Obviously, um, well, obviously, I'm, I'm assuming that you give permission to increase the interpretation if the, the reader sees more. Uh, but obviously, yes. we have the three... Um, little sentences we have the image uh, and as you were saying the image has got layers 
many of them, yes. um, and we're, go we're going to discuss a few in secret, few secrets. Uh, but also, um, and we'll discuss that later, some cards have a written word at the bottom. Yes. I want to know do. about they that too. <laughs> and timing. Yeah. Because people would always say, well, when is this going to happen? Mm -hmm. Or um, when would be the best time? Or mm -hmm. how much longer? They mm -hmm. would always ask timing questions. And yeah. you and I both know that timing is not something that can be controlled. Yeah. Timing mm -hmm. is determined by your actions. You know, if you take no action, it possibly will take a lot longer than yeah. if you do mm -hmm. take action. Of course. <laughs> and so the spirit world doesn't have time. And so as a guide, if you brought up, there's only 17 timing cards in there mm -hmm. and 17 adds up to the eight and they have, there's two cards for each season. So you've got the timing of spring, winter, um, so autumn. I'm showing or one of them here, you can see the winter. Yeah. The winter. Um, yeah. And so then, some of them uh, are saying timing and then a season and some others yeah. are saying timing and then a duration. So here we have months, for instance. Or we, yes. I think there's a week's one uh, and yes. one there's, that is up to nine months. I think it's the pregnancy yes. card. And then there's a one that says up to two years, isn't it? Yes, that's a uh, business because they say it takes up to two years to get a business established. And then, of course, there is days. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot about days. Yeah. Yeah, days. And that means... And there's one that says now. I love that. Yes, <laughs> there is. And so the, the timings on there, um, if you have drawn, say, five cards and there's not a timing card, when you ask the question about timing, very soon after, meaning there's only 17 out of 53 cards, a timing card will appear. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you'll have all timing cards that will draw. You draw three cards and all three are timing cards. What are the chances? Mm -hmm. And they've asked a timing question. And when all your cards, when there's a lot of timing cards there, that's saying that timing is important. Mm -hmm. it's yeah. really important mm -hmm. for them to show up and then of course I've got secondary timing cards uh -huh. so <laughs> secondary timing cards are cards that um, have uh, like that's a secondary timing card because it has sand in it and sand is always about time you know there's a show on tv that says the hands of mm -hmm. like the sand of time passing through an hourglass mm -hmm. and the original timing structure one of them was an hourglass mm -hmm. and that took time that one would be a secondary timing card because it has the word time on it mm -hmm. oh that and makes a lot of sense mm -hmm. uh that would be a secondary timing card as well because we have sand on it and that's the mm -hmm. family card where they're walking on a beach uh another one is the actual uh card of the hourglass yeah because i found that one yeah, I put that one in the desert. So mm -hmm. there's your sand, your ground. Look at all that sand. There's mm -hmm. so much sand there. That's a secondary timing card. But the hourglass so one. What, how do you decide what's the timing when there is no timing written on it? So you say it's a secondary. I, Does that mean that the time is an need... issue and then you have yes. to uh, make the client um, aware that time has going to be playing an issue? Yes, and that they need to take action if they want to speed things up. So mm -hmm. if we look at the hourglass there, mm -hmm. it, it, there's a hell of a lot of sand all around it. <laughs> so we've not only got the timing device, we've got the word time in it, and then we've got and the sand around. Sand. Yeah, that's a big time yeah. thing. <laughs> this is a big timing thing, and this is, you know, the old-fashioned timing device. And then, of course, we have our alarm clock which is saying stop procrastinating, the alarm clock's ringing, you have to do something now, <laughs> go, and it has the on. word time in. Mm -hmm. And it has a timing device, so that is a secondary timing card yeah, as well. obviously. Mm -hmm. So you will see, you know, when timing's a factor, these these cards tend to turn up and they shock people. And they're with part the of the sentence that like you were saying yeah. that, you know, with one card you got a word <clears throat> and with various cards you have a sentence and then you can... Um, see if there's timing if time isn't is a part of the issue or the pro or solution yes. <laughs> whichever yes. uh, I love that I love that that because this yes. is for me I'm a very visual person so I, I I have seen the time devices um 
And I did think, oh, there's a time involved, but some people don't. Uh, and I think we have to really, um, that's why I'm so happy that you are explaining the cards because they're not um, as simple as they look sometimes no they're easy to use but there's so many layers for those that want to go yeah, further. exactly mm -hmm. so a lot of professional psychics are using them in their business now because they shorten the amount of time it takes to do a reading they yeah, they're to the point that, yeah they're to the point they're accurate they they make sense when they come out in answer to a question and uh so without them you might take say 30 minutes they'll chop it in half mm -hmm. and so you get more into the reading. Mm -hmm. And But not only that, you can be channeling and then the cards will reflect what you've been saying. It's like mm -hmm. a confirmation. Mm -hmm. But the other thing I'd notice is uh, my readings were always about channeling, connecting to the person and writing down what I'm channeling, looking down mm -hmm. the paper and explaining it to the person. And they, when they were sitting across from me, they'd keep looking at the cards as if to say, when's she going to bring the cards out? <laughs> and because people love cards. They love yes. looking at them. Yes, and, and that's, um, I'm going to interrupt here and, and just say that this is why I'm doing this series in the podcast. This is why I'm organizing these congresses around cards, because I believe that cards are so much more accessible than books are for people to get knowledge. And they have one thing uh, that books don't have. It's the play yeah. thing. Cards yeah. are related to game, to the idea of, of they're light, they're joyous. Uh, they, they don't have this, but you still can get a lot of knowledge and deep understanding of a situation or of yourself with cards. And that's why I think, you know, they, they have... They allow for immediate access, even for people who don't like reading or who don't have time, but they provide the same amount of knowledge or of wisdom. Um, and your cards in particular uh, are so accessible, yet so deep. And I think this duality, uh, which is a good duality for that purpose, usually we are against duality, but here I think it's a good duality that they are really easy to read, let's put it this way, uh, albeit yeah. being full of layers and second thoughts and um, well, I mean you've spent five years creating them and you were a reader before if, if people don't you know I just want to remind that and you were trial testing them before they actually existed with your business cards blanks and and I think it's it's amazing the thank you the, yeah the the, the dual the the dual quality of easy access like you know with the photo it's it's not also there are symbols but if you don't want to go in there you can just have the words and the main image and yet there's still you know um, things to understand at this level and you can go deeper some oracle decks are either too shallow so you have only the surface layer oops am i freezing <laughs> Oh, I seem to be freezing. Just give me a minute. Uh, hopefully. Well, but uh, but it's, it's saying more. So remember I spoke about the six areas people want to know about. If this yeah. card came up and someone was asking about their health and it was the only card drawn, I would be saying they need to eat more protein and leafy greens. <laughs> Not eat koalas, but eat more protein and leafy greens and fibre. Because if my eye is drawn to that trunk there, it's very fibrous. Mm -hmm. So I would be saying things like that. But if they're asking about a relationship, this would be saying, if it's a new one, I'd say, just watch that they're not at stage five. Cling on. Because see how, and wanting you to be the mummy. Mm -hmm. Or it can be they're a mummy's boy. Or it can be this is going to be a very close relationship. But it's saying it's a secure one. It's a safe relationship. Mm -hmm. If they're asking about travel, it's saying they're going to be safe. If it's asking about should I move house, it's saying stay put. Mm -hmm. If they're saying should I change jobs right now, it's secure where you are and you should stay put. So you can see how the one card 
can mean many different things, but that is why there's different words at the top. This one here, if it says us about their health, this is saying you need to do some exercise. Uh, I'm uh, sorry, I'm going to read those for the people who do not watch the video. So this card says get busy, get moving, motivate, exercise. And it has a and timing quick at the, at the bottom. And you can yes. see a runner, a picture, uh, an image of somebody running so fast that they're actually dissolving into their past, that their, their shadow is dissolving. That's right. So if they're asking about health, this is saying you need to do some exercise. And my students, when they see this come up, they go, oh, don't tell me that because they know <laughs> they need to do exercise. Uh, but if it's about a business, it's saying you prepare to be busy. Mm -hmm. You need to be more motivated. You need to get things moving. Yeah. Uh, so, it, you know, it just depends on what they're asking about that the card's layers will actually come out. Mm -hmm. uh, this card is a picture of a house and the words mm -hmm. say new home, home improvement. But if they're asking about anything, really, it's about improvement. Mm -hmm. And it's also about when, you know, if you're lost, say, in New York and you don't know where to go, you want to go home, don't you? That's your mm -hmm. safe place where you mm -hmm. feel comfortable. So this is another card that speaks of comfort and safety, but it's mm -hmm. also talking about new things. Mm -hmm. This is an investment card. Remember yeah. I said about the different things? What do we invest money in? We invest them in homes. Mm -hmm. um, and so it, this is talking about being comfortable, uh, about improvements. You can see in the image there's a ladder, and the mm -hmm. ladder's about climbing to success. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can also see windows there, and you can see that, the top windows have curtains. Mm -hmm. And so depending on where your eye is drawn, it may be drawn to the faded roof because it's not a perfect house. Most people don't mm -hmm. get to buy a brand new home. They get to buy something that they need to mould to mm -hmm. their liking. To their liking, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, not everyone's a millionaire and just goes, oh, I'm going to build a home. Even if it's a building <laughs> home, it requires mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. Um so this is realistically, this is talking about something needs improvement or something is improving. It may require some hard work. Uh, you may have to, if you're drawn to the bare boards, it might be talking about if they're asked about their finances, things are pretty tight right now. Mm -hmm. You're down to the bare boards. Mm -hmm. uh, if they're asking about work, there's room to climb the ladder. Mm -hmm. If they're asking about relationships, it's about feeling comfortable with someone so and being able to If I hear you, it's uh, there's a lot around empowering the reader to really yeah. give uh, himself or herself the permission to read, yeah. like read the image as if it was a description. So yes. what do I see as a reader? And that is the answer that the client needs. Yes, um, no one is ever wrong. It is... Think of these as a point of focus mm -hmm. to empower and activate your intuition to get more out of it mm -hmm. and give you confidence while they confirm what you're getting mm -hmm. or they help you to open it up so that you can see what you're getting and the rest is coming in without you stressing about, oh, I've got to get a little book and make sure I'm right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not wrong. It's about taking it as you see it. Mm -hmm. And um, there's also a yes and a no card in there. Yes, I, I saw so that. Mm -hmm. And the amount of times they come up when someone asks a yes or no question is unbelievable. <laughs> and nobody likes to hear the word no, you know, <laughs> uh, um, unless um, you um, generally no's a negative yeah. for most people. But I have the words there, no, not likely, find another way. Yeah. So it's saying it's a no, but you can find a way around it. Mm -hmm. The image is of a man standing in front of a brick wall, but he's standing on a perfect road with mm -hmm. perfect green grass either side. You know, the grass is always greener on the mm -hmm. other side. <laughs> and so he's hit this brick wall. He's empowered. He's in a blue suit, which... Yeah. When you think of blue suits, you know, um, you think of a, a lot of police forces wear blue yeah. depending on the country. 
um, it's not as serious as a black. He is standing in the power pose, isn't he? With his hands on his he, hips. He is. And he's, so he's and not he's defeated up. by the no. He's, no. And so it's looking too tall to climb this brick wall, but the green grass either side says there are other options that are greener. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is not good, but something else is better. Mm -hmm. And I use the example I had a, a client come to me and she wanted to buy a particular house. And I said, look, it doesn't seem likely you'll get this house. And she was determined. She wanted this house. And I said, what I always tell people, you say, if this is for my highest good, yeah. you always ask that. If it's for my highest good, let it be, right? Mm -hmm. She didn't get the house. She was miserable about it. But she found <laughs> out three months later the people that did get the house had to do $70,000 worth of plumbing repairs. Wow. <laughs> that didn't come up in the um, inspection, the house mm -hmm, inspection. Mm -hmm. they, they couldn't see that. They didn't know that. Mm -hmm. And she didn't have $70,000 to do the repairs. And six months later, she was in a better house that cost her less. Mm -hmm. So sometimes yeah. people don't want to hear no, but Spirit World's saying, hey, it is a no, but there is something better. Yeah. And I and love that like the guy is actually looking at the no, looking at the wall yeah. and kind of accepting it, accepting yes, that no, right. this is not the way. And yeah. I'll have to think it over and find another way. Um, yeah. So that's, and that's what yes I would card. immediately think. Yeah, the yes card is, is such card. an open sky card. I love it. Yeah, it, so it's, it's open it. to anything. Mm -hmm. And if you've ever done that cloud gazing, I've put all scrying images in there. Mm -hmm. You can see there's a butterfly down here. See the butterfly? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when you look, and then there's a dog. See that dog? He's sort of like yes. in a spin. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay, so he's made up of a cloud. And so what we do is, you know, we look up to the heavens for what we want. Mm -hmm. And this is saying if you want it, create mm -hmm. it, look for it, mm -hmm. find it. Yeah. It's vast, it's open, it's out there. Yeah, I love And it that. can be, yes. Mm -hmm. And so the word positive is on there too, and the positive mm -hmm. comes up in other cards as well. Mm-hmm. So there's so many little cards in there that have so yeah so much. many so many layers um and yeah. and yeah I I love that it's um more even more than a permission given to the reader kind of an injunction to actually look and believe in my intuition as a reader uh, and yeah. to use the cards with um with my my personal um, take on it basically yes. and that is that can only be done if the cards like yours have been thought over and um how can i say that uh, enriched with so many details for me to pick on as a reader uh, or as a user um so yeah i love cool. that i love that now and i have a negative question. cards too Sorry? because life there's negative cards because life has negative things happening yes this is one of the things yeah i wanted to mention indeed because uh there are so many decks which are all all rainbows and unicorns and and they're good i mean i i, I like sometimes when mostly when i'm in a very dark place <laughs> to kind of you know have have an idea that things are going to get better but sometimes we have to face the music and the music sometimes is not playing right. And it's no, important, and I think, to know a way out. And if we don't yes. face it, you know, like this wall that you mentioned, the no card. Um, yes. You have, at some point, we cannot find an alternative solution as long as we don't face the wall. That's right. That is so well put. And people, um, you know, there's certain readers out there that just want to tell their clients all these good things and they don't prepare them for the reality of what can happen. And then, you know, the the reality does happen and then they're upset. Um, what, what, but, what I love about the cards is there are two ways, I think, in general to read cards. And I'm not an expert. You are. <laughs> You're going to correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. One is um, what I call predictive. So you're going to say this might happen or, you know, this is might be in the cards for you. And the other one is here's what's available right now energetically. And here's what you can do with it or what, what is possible. 
yes. and I love that your cards can be used in both ways. They can. And for example, see this card here. It's it's two tigers fighting and there's water. Quarrels, swishing strife, conflict. And there's water yes. in the middle. Yeah. But if it has all positive cards around it, at a minimum, it's a conflict. I need to be in, in Greece, but I have to go to Scotland. Yeah. So there's a mm -hmm. conflict of interest, as in I'm conflicted. Which way will I go? Yeah. Or if it's about a relationship, I'm conflicted. Yeah. At its worst, if it's got all negative cards around it, it's talking about there's strife here, there's quarrels. Mm -hmm. You need to fight for something. But then if you look at the image, you can see one of the tigers has the upper paw, the upper mm -hmm. hand. Mm -hmm. One is stronger than the other one. Mm -hmm. And the water represents emotions, emotions. as it does. Yeah. <laughs> and the emotions are flying everywhere there. So this is heated. Mm -hmm. And you can see that. And so, you know, how you go into it, um, things like I have a grey background there and mm -hmm. grey backgrounds say this is not a black and white situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shades of grey. This can go There's not anywhere. somebody who is right and wrong. Because yeah. conflict is usually most people try to resolve conflict by deciding who's right and who's wrong. And I love yes. that you're opening up to the idea that no, sometimes no one is right and no one is wrong. It's that's just like, that's exactly know. right. This one here, it's I call this my Mercury in retrograde card, not that I'm an astrologer, <laughs> but it's it's about delays and challenges and disruptions. So we and see obstacles. a traffic jam, just we for do. people not watching. We, tr we see a traffic yeah. jam and the words are written are obstacle, disruption, challenges, delays. But the first yes. thing I want to say, before you actually give me your uh, what's in there, for me, it's sunny, it's sunshine. So mm -hmm. despite the obstacles, the disruption, the challenges and the delays, the first thing I see is actually the opening scene of La La Land, where there is a traffic jam in the sunshine and people dance on the cars. So yes. sometimes in the uh, obstacle, disruption, challenges and delays, you might have actually um, many great things happening. That is exactly right. It's just saying you're hedged into something there. Yeah. You can't get out unless someone else moves. You're oh, blocked. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> so, therefore, make the best of it. You might be blocked there, but you can, you know, catch up on some other things or dance on or, the car. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. and you'll see that all the, the rest of it is monochrome. Mm -hmm. There's black and white cars. You're not seeing many coloured cars there. Mm -hmm. And that's because the background of the road is grey, but the cars mm -hmm. are white and they're saying there is light there that mm -hmm. you notice with the sunshine. You just have to find it. Something positive can come out of this, but right now, you know, there's delays. Mm -hmm. And if someone's asking about their travel plans, it's, I, I would say to them, make sure you allow plenty of time in case yeah. you get stuck in a traffic yeah, jam. It doesn't mean don't do anything or just, you know, stop no. or... or and I yeah. think that, that the negative or, or cards, if you want to call them like that, just are facts of life. You know, life is not always going in the in the in the in the happy, sunshiny direction. Uh, it's no. mostly uh, a mixture of of darkness and light, of shit and, and wonderful things happening, and usually That's at right. the same time. <laughs> And do you know which one, this card here that I'm going to show you now, it's the one with all the words on. It's called the Blessing and Prayer of Intention card. And that is the most important card in the deck. Most people may not realize that is the card that has to stay in the deck. Oh, and it has three purposes. I took it out. So, yes, thank you Hello. for mentioning that. <laughs> it has three purposes. The first one is this is the card that says whatever you're asking about, the situation is blessed and what will happen will be for your highest good. If someone's asking about their spiritual gifts and their spiritual path and how they're going, when this card comes up, it says they are a channeler and they have a direct link to the divine. And that. the third one is if you get it with the angel card, which says you are blessed, that's called a double blessing because you've got the word blessing and the word blessed. And so when this card comes up, it says everything's going to be fine. But this oh, is the lovely. card. This card says it's a karmic situation. 
-hmm. It's something that is part of your spiritual journey or part of your karmic mm -hmm. um, path, depending if you believe in karma or not. But this is what this is saying. And then, of course, looking at the words, if a word sticks out to you, like the word true or the word clear or wisdom or love, you know, I always say look at the image for all the clairvoyance out there and what's talking to you. For those of you who aren't clairvoyant, look at the words and the words are meant to make sentences. Mm -hmm. I love that. So, I, lo I really love this idea of a sentence as a reading yes. with various cards as a sentence uh, because it, it makes so much sense, basically. Yeah. And this is the connection prayer that you use before you start. If you're just going anywhere, if you want to connect to uh, read a crystal ball, to do use a pendulum, anything, this is a connection prayer that sets the intention that you wish to, to connect. You're asking for divine guidance from the highest source of all that is good. You're inviting your guides and helpers to connect you with accurate, specific messages for all those concerned. And you're asking to be a clear and true channel for divine wisdom with truth and love. Amen. And so it is. Mm -hmm. And so that if I'm doing any readings, that is what I start with for the day. I do a little meditation with a visualization. But if I don't have time, that prayer, the intention Just is launches set, the intention, launches you straight in. And when I created this deck, I actually take a pro forma to all the spiritual sites that I go to. I've been to Delos in Greece. Um, I've been to the Big Buddha in Thailand. Uh, all the images started coming. I went there and I got a blessing from the monks and mm -hmm. I asked to see the images. And as I was walking out, I had those little cards with a pencil and I'm writing them on. And my mm -hmm. sister's with me and she'd said to me, um, in the bus on the way to the big Buddha, she said, oh, I've got a question. Can you get those cards out? And I got the cards out and answered a question. She said, you know, you're going to have to put images on those cards, don't you? And I said, yes, I know. I'm waiting for them. I'm yeah. going to the monks to ask for them. And as I walked out, the images started downloading and I'm busy awesome. scribbling what they were going to be on these cards. And she's saying, Catherine, you've got to watch where you're walking. I'm saying, <laughs> I'm fine. And then I spent the rest of that week writing down these little All the images that were yeah. coming. And I then when that. I was in the Caribbean, that's when all the words were coming for the little book. And for my second deck, the words were coming for that while I was in the Caribbean. So, you know, I travel a lot and I work when I travel and I pick these things up. But what I'd love to do if, with your permission and I know we not everyone can see, but if you had a question that you would like, well, so we can uh, demonstrate how it works. We can do that. It. We can do that. But before we do that, uh, if that's all right, we're going to go over time. So uh, I would still want to for you to mention the other deck, at least briefly. And maybe we can do another episode at some point to go deeply into it. But um, yeah. I was really impressed by the other deck that I didn't know at all, actually. Uh, I, the first ah. one I'd seen a few copies, but I was so it's called the Modern Oracle of Essential Oils. Same format, so same explanations yes. of the small cards because we have small hands, and yes. yet there's a lot of words on it. So there's images, but there's a, way more words in that deck than there are in the in the first decks. Uh, so there is sorry. There's six ways you can use it. And I also want to mention. When I had them done, I paid extra to get these special magnetic flat boxes. Yes, they're amazing. Because if you, you try to get a small box open with the vacuum, you know, the mm -hmm. clamshell ones where mm -hmm. you're pulling them out, it's too hard. But also these boxes are so that it, you can protect your cards and keep them in there. The gold around the edges was the intention is set that they are protected. Mm-hmm. And so that you're protected as well. Now, with the other deck, people go, oh, I'm not into essential oils. No, it's not about essential oils. It's just one of the flavours there. Exactly. So That's one what, of the what I was really impressed when I played with them a little bit uh, yesterday and this morning uh, because they, I thought they were going to be kind of, um, of a description of essential oils, which they are, but then there's so much more. So... 
I love that. Okay, so um, the first thing I'll say to you is all the chakra colors are there on the borders of the cards. Yes. So you can ask which chakra am I working with and pull a card and it'll tell you which chakra needs attention, which chakra is not working, which uh, chakra do I rely on the most. Mm -hmm. You can ask that. questions about chakras, pull a card to get, get an answer. The next thing is the image. So this card, say, for an example, oregano or oregano, um, a good Greek herb, it has absolutely there, yeah. Um, it's lying on a timber bench and there's a big crack in it. And so when you look at the image, you can look at what's fallen away from the bunch of oregano, what could fall through the cracks, what's dry. Think about the wood, how it, you know, the properties of wood and how it reacts. You can look at the image, how some of it's blurred out. So according to where you're eye is drawn you would allow that so the images are again not random images of the pants at all they have again those same layers that you have in the other deck yeah thank you and so <laughs> then you can say which essential oil would benefit me the most and you can choose a um, card and for me right now it would be cilantro or coriander essential hopefully oil. not for me and i hate that <laughs> So um, if I say for Asaya, which essential oil would benefit her? And one jumped out and it's lemon or lime. That's oh, the one that will benefit you. Okay. Interesting. Uh, so then the next thing you look at is um, the message on the card. So there is a message that's printed there. And on this one, it says, this is a time to stand up for what you believe in. Be firm, take control, make it happen. Don't stand back and wait. You've got this. Mm -hmm. And then you can ask for an affirmation. Mm -hmm. And the affirmation's there as well. Then there is a number if you're into numerology. And in the little book, I was sure to put, for those that don't do numerology, the number meanings on page mm -hmm. 14. Of yeah, the I saw that. Mm -hmm. But I also put the law of attraction meanings. So yes, for this one, that too. Clove, three says chase your dreams, mm -hmm. whereas generally a three would be about creating and joy creating and self creativity. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and communication. So there's all those ways that you can do it. But I also put in a wild card, and the wild yes. card's there because there are more than 53 essential oils in the world. And if you are someone that's working with essential oils and you have one that's, say, called balance or primrose or, or whatever it is, mm -hmm. you can for the day or however long you can say, this is a surrogate card. And you say, today, yes. this mm -hmm. card. Today, the wild card is, is yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so if you draw it, that's the essential oil you need. Mm -hmm. It's also the luckiest card in the in the deck. <laughs> And you'll see it's all about fortune shining upon you. And this card matches the good luck card in the Modern Oracle deck. Think of this deck, the Modern Oracle is being masculine, very blunt and abrupt, and the essential oil deck as being feminine. You've got mm -hmm. the flower and the flow. And so if a child came up to my stand at an expo and asked for a card and they got something like worry, stress and guilt, that's not good for the child. But no. if they got a matching card in the essential oil deck. Oh, well, it's just wait a minute. Anyway. What do you mean matching card? Do they match? Oh, I'm, I'm freezing on time. I'm sorry. How, how, do you, yes. how do they match? There is a card in this deck that matches every card in that deck. Oh, that's amazing. I didn't know that. Yes, there is. And so, you know, there, um, like the Clary Sage card is that matches the psychic card. Oh. And when you look at it, it says you have strong intuition. And up the top, it has an intuition, imagine, and clarity. Oh, I love that. So, in fact, and if you we... look at the Oregano card, that matches the No card. And oregano has no at the end, see? Mm -hmm. That's how you remember it. But it says whilst it might feel like you've hit a brick wall, 
Remember the notes? Oh, yeah. So here the reality the is again. the situation was not right. It is time to find a better way. So as and you were saying, the, the, there is the same message, but in a, in a more feminine way in this um, deck, in the, the sexual orals deck, uh, than yes. the other one being more kind of to the point and, yeah, more masculine energy. And then the other way you can use it is you have the words up the top like you do on the modern oracle deck. Yes, I saw so that. So we've got the two blocks, or three blocks of attachment of and willingness. Mm -hmm. So you can use both decks and you can be getting the words from this. Mm -hmm. And so if I say take this yes card and this oregano card, which is a yes and no card, <laughs> when you get a yes and no card, that's like saying I'm in two minds about something. I haven't decided yeah. yet. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. yes or no. But if you're looking at the words, it's saying, look, this is, it can be yes, it can be positive, but you need to remove the blocks, don't be attached, mm -hmm. and be willing to make some changes. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so it's as easy as that. But I love that. if you were to pull three cards of the essential oil deck, you could read, I've just pulled three off the top here, mm -hmm. you can read this in many ways. So the first thing you can look at is the words up the top mm -hmm. and you know, the, the Oregano says remove blocks, non-attachment, willingness. The Litsia card says clarity, confident, uplifting. Mm -hmm. And the Claric Sage says clarity, imaginative and intuitive. Now, the word clarity comes up twice. When something comes up more than once, it's a spirit world emphasising yeah, it. They yelling at it. <laughs> so whatever the question is, they're saying you really need clarity right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can get that just from those words. Yeah. That's but amazing. If you wanted to pull those three cards out, I'll show you another little trick now. Mm -hmm. And that is you can join all the messages up going across. Oh. So say if someone says, uh, should I invest in a business right now? Mm -hmm. And the first card, the oregano, says, whilst it might feel like you have hit a bit of a brick wall. The reality is the situation's not right right now. It's better that you work on this and find another way, but let go of any doubt and confusion, because this is on the Litsia card, that might prevent you from moving forward and find a positive direction that you feel confident with because, and here we go to the Clary Sage, which talks about your intuition, you do have strong intuition and you've got to trust that you can do awesome. this. I love it. You receive and believe in and open to an amazing gift you could have here. So you make it about the business and be open to new ideas. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's so actually you have you have the the, um, the message pre-written almost. Yes. And the other way is you can join up the affirmations. So the affirmations are I am open to new and exciting situations and I'm on my way to success. I'm guided to be on the right path at the right time and heading in the right direction at all time. I have powerful and amazing gifts and I trust in my abilities and I am supported. So then I would join those three up and I'd say about the business, look, just be open to new and exciting things right now because this is a so exciting situation and you can be on your way to success. So just be guided to be on the right path at the right time, That you know that you're heading in mm -hmm. the right direction. And that you're powerful and amazing and just trust in your abilities and know that you will be supported. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I love that. So before we go into my questions, I want to uh, remind everyone that these decks can be actually yours. And there are two ways that you can get those decks in your hands, um, two very different ways. One is um, going on to KDK's website and you will find all KDK's um sorry, references and links above or below the audio or video, whatever you're watching, everything is in there. Um, and that, if you're not living in Australia, might become a problem because shipping is expensive, as we know. Still, they're worth it. They're really worth it. But if you don't want shipping, there is now another way that you can get your hands on the decks, even without having hands on the decks. It's called Deckable. It's an amazing app that you can download and then you can buy Katie's decks on there and you can play with them as in in two minutes without paying any shipping 
and you can play with her decks mixed with other decks. You can have both decks and so do um, full cards from both decks at the same time. And really, a deck of all is amazing. Um, and so if you want a digital version of KDK's um, Modern Oracle and Modern Oracle of Essential Oils, just jump in on Deckable. I will put a link to Deckable in the description of the podcast as well. So you can go straight there um, and have the decks immediately. And if you like them so much, you can even then buy the physical ones also. Because, you know, we want decks, more decks. <laughs> the ones that we like and we enjoy and that are so good. So, yeah, please do that. And there's another way too. And there's, there's another, another way. way. Yes. One is my good friend, Asaya, my good oh, new yes, friend. Oh, yes, sure. I have a few decks as well. I forgot that. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Um, I she may have something to part with. Um, <laughs> yes, that I, I have a few decks uh, in Europe. So if you're interested, uh, you can reach out to me as well. Uh, if you're in Europe or in the US. Um, although, depending on when you listen to this podcast, I might not have any left. But for now, I have some. So please reach out to me if you want the, um, them. I uh, also want to... Way. Oh, yeah. And more? Yes. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> I have on my website Alyssa Stockist. And oh, whenever great. I travel, I invite people to say, hey, I want to be a stockist. If I'm traveling, like if I'm going somewhere, I will take it to save you the freight and then ship it from wherever I am closest to Oh, that's to you. lovely. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah, yes. go and check on, on, on Katie's website where... Uh, and when you can get the decks. But you can also be a stockist and that pays for you because one will, I'll sell it to you at um, cost, well, at the um, production price. Wholesale price. Mm -hmm. And then if you're getting multiple, it becomes cheaper because mm -hmm. then you're dividing that freight up yeah. by 20 mm -hmm. decks or 14 decks or, or whatever. Course. Yeah. And then, of course, you can put, your price on them because you're still going to be um you could either charge the same as what's going to cost them to get it from me mm -hmm. so you're making money on the deck because you bought it wholesale mm -hmm. you the person's got to cover the freight anyway so they might as well get it off you mm -hmm. it's i mean you just put what you want on because the demand will be there for you to to do so if you want to become a stockist, then you are on my website and people should look at the stockists on there and go to that person mm -hmm. first or they order on my website to save themselves some. Awesome. Some freight. Like I'm, awesome. I'm, I'm up to the US in a, a week's time. So if there's someone in the US that wants to stock, well, then we'll go that way. You carry but, the decks. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. So I also wanted to mention that you have written two books that I mentioned at the beginning, but you can get those books. You don't need to have them shipped because you can get them off of Amazon, which is means you can get yes. them everywhere. But so, you can yeah. order, order them off the website yeah, and of course. do it through a, a, a supplier. So they might have their warehouse in, uh, they print to order. And so it might get mm -hmm. printed in yes. France and sent out in France. Um, or it might get printed out in the US and sent out in the US. So you're always paying local postage. Awesome. Well, so go and check Katie uh, on her website and start from there. And yes, enjoy the decks. They're amazing. Uh, do I have a question now? <laughs> yeah, I have. Uh, I had big, big travel plans for this spring. And I, I'm interested to know what is the energy around them because I've had very mixed signals like some things have been cancelled and then other things have been pushed so I don't I know I have to wait so the first card is going to be the wait card I'm sure because I'm but I you know if there is anything in the cards I'd be interested around this okay so what I'm going to do is I'll help you interpret them because this is how you learn okay you put two awesome. decks there choose both or which one you want to to use um let's we're not going to pull one card because think of one card as a yes or no answer yes or i see what limited you mean. answer mm -hmm. we want to know the answer but we want more detail as well mm -hmm. because if mm -hmm. i went for coffee with you and i answered everything with one word like freedom <laughs> or, or yes or no you would soon get annoyed with me and go, that woman's <laughs> crazy. I'm not having coffee with her anymore. <laughs> and that's a bit like what that. it's like when you connect to spirit. You know, you sit there and you meditate and you say nothing. 
And I'm gonna laugh. Also, I'm I'm gonna laugh because I, I was shuffling because you said pick a deck. So I was shuffling and a card jumped. What did and I say? And you have earlier? to ask the question when you're shuffling that you want to. What did answer? I say? The card Otherwise that is going dead. to jump first is the wait time, right? And I got the yeah. opposite card that says, do it now. <laughs> okay. So now you've got one card, but I always say if you are not asking the cards the question when you're shuffling, mm -hmm. then you're not getting the answer because you, and I always say, especially at expos and that, I say, ask the question out loud because in mm -hmm. your mind, you're asking several questions and then you confuse the cards. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I work at expos a lot and I'm working at one next week. I'll do three days, probably 21 or 22 readings a day, just one after the other. And I'll say to the person, um, shuffle cards and let's get the question if you ask the question out loud i'll help you and if you don't i won't and they say why is that and i said because you keep changing the question in your mind as you're shuffling <laughs> and the, then the universe is going which one are we answering and you get a convoluted answer okay so my question okay. is is the trip that i planned going to happen in the way i planned it okay and so, what do I need to know for my house? Yeah, and what do I need to know? And what is important for me to know regarding this issue? Yeah. Yes, so, and then uh, I, your three cards. I don't like waking waiting for the for the cards to jump. And I, I pull me the them. cards as they come so I can find them in my deck too. Okay. So the first one is the new home card. Yes. And then we have the children card. And then we have the stand your ground and be strong card. Okay. And the children card. Okay. So you pull three cards. Yes. Right? Okay. Notice there's a timing card there. Oh, yes. Months. That's the first one. Months. I'm just saying for people who don't watch the video. So, yeah, it says timing months. Okay, yeah, so yeah. this trip would be sense. months away, yeah? That makes sense because the trip is uh, starting end of April. It should be starting end of April. Okay. Now, when you look at those images, what do you see? Um, well, the first image, the house or the home thing, uh, what I see is an American house for some reason. It looks American to me. And I'm supposed to go to the U.S. Yes. So it's a, for me, it's a confirmation that I'm going. And the second okay. card, what do you notice? The second there? card, I, I see children, they're running, they're happy, they're uh, playing with a butterfly, which is about transformation. Butterfly kite, I'm going to show it for people watching the video. Um, it's also a chakra card. Uh, yes, absolutely. And there, yeah, there seems to be a lot of joy and um, excitement and maybe some, um, um, how do you say, fast energy, kind of running. Yeah. Um, and group and, for me, and that is very important because part of, of the trip I intended to share with other people and to meet people along the way, so that makes sense. Plus, and if can you want see that there's a leader there? My absolute opinion uh, is the, the little girl who's holding the kite looks just like me when I was a kid. Yes, <laughs> and she's leading them, isn't she? Yes, and they're she's leading them. following yeah. her. Yeah, now which makes a lot of sense. Yes, the third card. And you'll see the sky is clear above them yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the, the grass, grass is green. And yeah, the whole situation seems like a happy one. Right? Yes. And also, also notice there's only one shadow there. None of them have got shadows. Mm -hmm. Nothing is holding them back. Interesting. Well, well for me, the, also the, the, the words, because I'm a word person, so when I read innocence, I feel it's asking me to just let go of doubt and just go with it with a childlike, you know, it's going to happen and we'll see what happens, okay. but I'm in the lead of what's happening. Yeah. Now, what's your third card? So the third card is this bullfighter in front of a bull and he is um, he's, well, standing his ground, obviously, in front of a very um, possibly aggressive and dangerous beast. Um and I live in the, in an area close to Spain, usually, when I'm not in Greece. So bullfighting is very present in my, not that I'm a fan, but there is a lot. So, and usually it's, um, it's frightening for me. 
um, that the okay. um, can you oh, notice something about him? He doesn't have a traditional red cape. He has a pink one. Yeah, <laughs> and he's a masculine man, but he's wearing pink socks. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he's not frightened. He's just yeah, he's standing. not frightened. Yeah, and he's, he's not neither is he aggressive. So because no, they're, they're, you know, so there, there's a, a part of me that wants to understand that it's about being there uh, and taking life as it is and standing my ground without being aggressive to whatever events or other people, even though they might be dangerous, like the the bull is. Although this bull is not moving either. It's not like no, running it, towards it, it's him. It's come to a standstill. It's a confrontation. Yeah. And it's saying... You need to stand your ground about what you want. Be strong. Dig your heels in. Yeah. And stand up to what you want. So that first card there is saying this situation can improve and there's going to be new things that you'll be doing and you can feel comfortable with this. And I nickname all my cards. Like this <laughs> children card it. is called the card of fun. Yeah. Children it looks like it. have fun. If they're not having fun, they don't want to be your friend anymore. <laughs> exactly. If you give them a kindergarten, they go, you're not my friend anymore. <laughs> they just take it like that. Okay? So that's about going there with the childlike innocence and having fun, but being strong where you have to be, digging your heels in about mm -hmm. what you're determined mm -hmm. to do and what you want and facing up to it and knowing you're strong enough to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Strength has been coming on very much in cards and 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 my yes. communication with spirit this these last few weeks because I don't know why but it's you know there's a lot of reminders of I've got the strength to deal with whatever. Yes. Um, yeah, you have. But I love also, that in your card the um the strength is associated with standing my ground because it's not the same for me. Like strength yeah. is something that you have or don't have maybe without standing the ground is an action that I can take like digging my heels in here and just yeah. showing that I this is my this is what I want being um, determined yeah determined being I love determined. that now I want you to do the same with the other deck and pull three cards tell me what they are and place them under these three cards okay they've they've not been, asking the exact same question they've not been they shuffled shuffle. at all so just give me a second they are uh, straight out of the pack of the box this one so okay <laughs> so one i'll pull the three and then i'll turn them and tell you okay and three okay. so the the so one that comes one? that comes bef uh, below the home one is lemongrass Cleansing, release, simplify. I love that. <laughs> okay. And what's the other one so I can be looking at the same time? Because otherwise I'll go through them twice. Um, ilang, ilang. And clove. So we've got lemongrass, lang lang and clove. Yeah. What okay. I find really interesting with the uh, lemongrass one is that it says spring. So, uh, again, for me, it's a timing card there. At, at least partly uh, and the simplify is exactly what's been happening with this trip it was a complicated oh trip. my god you're not going to believe this look what you have under the stand your ground card you've got the strength card oh my god it's the same one and being courageous <laughs> yes yeah. Stand up for what you <laughs> okay, believe. Okay, we'll do that then. <laughs> and oh my God, under the children card, you have the, like. life, <laughs> you have the same card. Okay, it's so can't be childlike. So, and under the, the lemon same. hound card, you've got an often time to get your house in life in order. It has the word house under the house card. Yeah, and and the word spring, which the the whole trip that we're discussing is happening yeah. in spring. So it's like. Yeah. Yes, they are. Um, so this is a functioning oracle deck, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, You've got to be amazed with that, honestly. I am. I am really amazed. Really, really amazed. Uh, 53 awesome. cards in each deck. You hadn't even shuffled them properly. No, I just you would not have done that. And believe me, they are in alphabet, uh, sorry, number order when you get them. Yes, they are. They are. I, I, I checked that this morning when I was looking at them. Yep. So now they're not. So 
<laughs> now, so now if we look at those bottom three cards, it's saying to you, you need to simplify what you want to do yeah. and release what you can't do. Mm -hmm. Go and get in touch with your inner child. Be playful. Be accepting like yeah. a child. Remain independent and strong and courageous. Yeah. There's, that makes so much sense, you know, with, with this trip, what what it was yeah. supposed to be, I have to let go of because it's not yeah. anymore. Uh, and I have to simplify it. Absolutely. Uh, and I have to refine the fun in it because it was, it was a trip for fun and it ended up being very complicated, heavy thing. So I have to find the fun again. And yet I have to stand up and, and be my thing. And besides the independent thing, part of what happened with this trip is I was supposed to go with some other people and they don't want to go anymore. So, and it's like, I, when I first started doing this trip, I wanted to go alone. And then other people added themselves to this. And it's like, now that they don't want to come anymore, I feel abandoned, which is stupid because, you know, so this card is reminding me that I can be independent and do it and on my I own. I think you were meant to do this on your own as original. I and I think that if you'd taken others, they would have made you feel responsible for Absolutely. everything that was happening and anything that went wrong instead of taking responsibility themselves. Absolutely. And you would have felt responsible because you're such a, a caring person yeah. and you would have felt that you had organized it and it was your trip so you had to make it perfect for them and this was that i've been doing that all my life was traveling so yeah yeah you know, i think this and is you do travel well but you're going to meet people that are meant to be in your life yeah on this look trip. look at those people and that if... i'm gonna meet they're running behind me <laughs> here yes. and they're but having if we fun look with at me the, the messages and join them now it's saying this is an optimum time just get everything in order now and get organized redo it for yourself only and take time to have fun and be childlike and have fun with those you love you can't be childlike if you're having to organize everyone no exactly and, so and, and pander to them and worry about whether they're happy or not mm -hmm. um, and have fun and get in touch with the inner child and stand up for what you believe in doing what you want to do take control make it happen don't stand back and wait for things to become good. You've got this. You can do this. And just believe in you. Believe that you can do this. But you got matching cards all the way through <laughs> there. And if they weren't matching, spirit was yelling at you. There's the home and the word house. Mm -hmm. And and it's got the word time in that lemongrass, an optimum time. Mm -hmm. You want to know, is this the right time? The second card has take time to have some fun <laughs> and the third card says this is the time can you see <laughs> yeah. that there's a time issue <laughs> and it's talking that. about i love okay? that i'm, I'm so happy that the cards have played nicely because they demonstrate so much but they're going to be honest and brutal and this is why you know some people will go to the essential oil deck because it's not as brutal and uh, because they want things softened a little bit mm -hmm. or they don't have to. I did the cards so that you would not have to go to a book. We mm -hmm. all go, you know, at some stage encounter that psychic that goes, mm -hmm. well, let's get the book out and see what mm -hmm. it means. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. this is to get your mind going. Mm -hmm. Even if we join up the affirmations, it says, look, just release what no longer serves you. They are the people that pulled out. Mm -hmm. and Allow positive new things in to come to your life. Make your new plans and take time to make plans for you to have fun and get in touch with your mm -hmm. inner child. Do your spirituality because that makes you feel youthful mm -hmm. and, and yeah. in touch. Yeah. And stand up for what you believe in and know that you are strong enough to do this and you're growing stronger every day. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, cards for demonstrating how well you function so that if anyone listening or watching has any doubts that these two decks are amazingly accurate and provide so much um, confirmation, I would like to say, in, in what was in my head and kind of I was turning around and not finding a way out of this thing. Um, and yeah, congratulations, Katie. These are just amazing. 
I'm Thank really you, excited. Carl. You know what we should be doing is we should be doing a podcast where we are looking at these different ways that we can put these cards together all the time and the different ways they can come out to help others strengthen their powers as well. Absolutely. Uh, there is, a, we can discuss that. Having a play like we are. <laughs> but um, there, there are some of the, of the series in my podcast that have recurring guests. I would love for you to be a recurring guest if you want to at some point. Happy to. Happy to. So thank you it's very much. I can do where um, I am. <laughs> Uh, we have to close this one, though, because we've been way over time. And, and I know my people will be uh, kind of excited to hear more. Uh, but definitely, uh, if we want more, we need a new, brand new episode because there's so much in these cards. Um, okay. So thank you very mm -hmm. much for having been my guest. Please, uh, listeners, go and check all the ways that you can get your hands on either the digital or the physical um, copy of those decks and the books on Amazon and check KDK. Oh, and I forgot to say, but I want to, that you also have a course or a program to help people learn how to use the decks. So all that you'll find on KDK's website. It's just, you know, it's crazy amazing. Go and check her out. I'm so happy that I get to showcase you because yeah, as I said at the beginning, um, you gave me such a permission to dare to even consider Oracle decks in my life. So thank you. And thank you for being thank a guest. For having me. And yeah, talk soon again. <laughs> oh, I've loved being with you and thank you for having me.